In our quest to understand the universe and its fundamental nature, we often encounter paradoxes that challenge our perception of reality. The duality of existence, where opposing forces coexist and define each other, has been observed throughout the cosmos. Expanding upon this principle, we explore the possibility of an anti-universe, a mirror realm that serves as the cosmic counterpart to our own universe. Vedanta asserts that the fabric of existence is woven with dualities. It recognizes that pairs of complementary forces, such as light and darkness, creation and destruction, and good and evil, are inseparable. Building upon this understanding, we extend the principle of duality to encompass the idea that an anti-universe exists, mirroring our universe but with contrasting qualities. Nature often manifests itself in pairs of complementary elements. Just as we cannot conceive of light without darkness, good without evil, or positive without negative, the universe too possess a duality that extends beyond our current understanding. By extrapolating this principle to the fabric of the cosmos, we explore the notion of an anti-universe that complements our own. The Big Bang theory postulates the emergence of our universe from a singularity, a moment of immense energy, and expansion. It stands to reason that if our universe emerged from a singularity, the inverse must also be true. Thus, the theory arises that the same cataclysmic event that birthed our universe also set in motion the formation of an anti-universe, existing in a parallel dimension. In line with Vedanta, we explore the possibility that the primordial event of the Big Bang gave rise not only to our universe but also to an anti-universe, both emerging from opposite directions. To comprehend the existence of an anti-universe, we turn our attention to the concept of antimatter, a fundamental component of the cosmos. Antimatter particles, such as antiprotons and positrons, possess properties opposite to their matter counterparts. By extending this principle, we propose that the anti-universe is composed predominantly of antimatter, while our universe is primarily made of regular matter. In Vedantic philosophy, the concept of Maya signifies the illusory nature of the material world. Drawing parallels, we examine the role of antimatter, a counterpart to regular matter, in the context of the anti-universe. Just as Maya obscures the underlying reality, antimatter in the anti-universe may symbolize the illusory nature of our universe, revealing deeper truths about existence. The next crucial question to explore is the nature of the boundary between our universe, and the anti-universe. Could there be a region in space where the two realms converge? While the existence of such a point remains hypothetical, theoretical physicists speculate that there might be specific transitional regions where interactions between matter and antimatter could occur. Vedanta invites us to transcend the veil of duality, and perceive the underlying unity of all things. Integrating this wisdom, we explore the hypothetical boundary between our universe and the anti-universe. In the Vedantic tradition, this boundary could represent the illusion of separation, inviting us to transcend dualistic notions and recognize the fundamental unity of existence. The existence of an anti-universe would have profound implications for our understanding of cosmology and fundamental physics. It could explain certain observed phenomena, such as the prevalence of dark matter and dark energy, which have eluded conventional explanations thus far. Studying the interactions between our universe and the anti-universe could shed light on the fundamental nature of these cosmic mysteries. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing.